Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Eagled. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update for Elrond, make sure to check that out before watching this one so that you have more context. It's going to be in the top right hand corner of the video. Also, feel free to uh, go over to one of the links down below in the description that will take you to official websites where you can donate to the Ukrainian refugees or to Ukraine's military. Uh, even $5 is going to make a difference. Thank you all for donating and thank you all for understanding. And I do want to mention the special deal that I have for you here from ExpressVPN. You get a special deal for 12 months plus three months, only for $6.67. And if you want to protect yourself, you want to protect your data using ExpressVPN, which is the best VPN out there. Uh, I think this is the best way to protect yourself because you know your government's watching you. You know that your local network provider is watching you. And not to mention that you have 30 days risk free over here. If you're not satisfied, you can get your money back. Uh, it's great to use for all of you guys in the US because I know you have a lot of restrictions with IDOs and such. And it's available on. Uh, iOS, Android, whatever you want. You have 24 seven customer support. You can pay with Bitcoin, which is good. So yeah, just let me know what you think. Uh, the link is down below in the description. Feel free to check it out. Now let's jump into the charts. So taking a look at Eagle over here, you can see that we were in this falling wedge over and, and, and we did break over here. We did break the pattern and you came down all the way here to $37 and now you're having a back test of resistance of this area. And I do think I mentioned this in the last video that I would be expecting a back test of resistance. And this was a nice 55% move for Eagle. So even in a bear market, you have this 55% move, guys. A 55% move is, is crazy in a bear market, in my opinion. But you had the opportunity to trade this, okay? And you lost the support of the FIB, obviously, but right now I am expecting to come back down at least to $41 because usually if you are starting an uptrend, okay, you have your first move up, then you have a move to the downside and you come back to where you initially came from. So you came from here, you put a high, you retrace to where you came from, and then you have a higher high, okay, and you continue on with your uptrend. That's just how it works. And if I do... Uh, slap a fib retracement on just a little fib over here just to see where we can get to. Okay, so our golden ratio is going to be here at $44, at basically $45. Then if you lose this swing low, you're going to be targeting $29 per Eagle token. So we have to hold $38. Otherwise, our technical target is down here at $29. And if I just do one more thing, think and bring out a different fib with a swing high with a swing low basically the same and the swing high being the same only difference is that you have the extension levels to the upside so here the golden ratio is at 49 almost 50 dollars so if we do bounce from this area and we do break this swing high over here okay let me just move that and you do break your swing high at 58 dollars you're going to be looking at $77, which is the 1.618 of this second Fib retracement that I have. Okay. And this is something that you need to pay attention to because if you start breaking this, you could potentially enter a long position. Okay. And, and only if you want to, I personally don't do futures, but I do realize that a lot of people do and uh, that's how they make their money. And that's fine by me. I only do spot trading. Even if you're, you, when you're on spot, you can trade, basically. You can enter once you do break this resistance. You enter in on the back test of support, and you take some profits either at the resistance of the falling wedge or just below the 77.10 uh, uh, target that we have here. But I do have to mention that the 20 EMA is a major resistance level that we need to break, and it is very likely that we get rejected by it once we break through the support or the previous support, I should say, of the falling wedge. And you're probably going to get rejected by the 20 because that's what you do in a downtrend. That's what you do in a bear market. So you do have these two fib retracements. OK, uh, just pay attention to them. You can see that some uh, levels do overlaps with each other. 
and you have the 0 0.5 basically here at 47.34 both fibs have the same uh 0 0.5 level and yeah like i said 29 dollars would be your technical target if you lost this low over here and this is where i expect us to retrace at the very least if bitcoin loses 20k i wouldn't count uh 29 out okay and i'm personally buying into elron right now i want to get a good position at these lower prices and once I have a good position, I'm going to stake my Elron tokens and I'm going to be waiting for new all time highs next bull market. OK, and on the daily chart here, you can see that we do have this trend line, but I do think this is uh, this is supposed to be for for the weekly chart, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see that you do have this support trend line. OK. Now, let me just get that perfectly set up. There we go. So you have two bounces from this trend line, okay? Then you come back down, you lose it, and then you break above it and potentially you look for another bounce over here. So we if we have a little pullback below $20,000, this is potentially where Elrond can land on the daily RSI. So keep that in mind. And I do want to switch over to Binance's website over here. So switching over to the monthly chart, I do want to show you this support level over here at $34, which is an important level because if we do go back here, you can see that we do have a resistance or a support level, I should say. The 1.272 is at $33.80 if we're going to be looking at the Fib retracement that has the extension levels to the downside, okay? presuming that we're going to lose this swing low, uh, 33.8 is a, the 1.272. And this is the high that we printed back in September of 2020. So this is potentially going to be the level that helps us uh, bounce back up, okay? Because you, you create a resistance level over here, you come down, you break it, and then you come back, you retest it as support, and on you go from there, okay? So that's something that's something to keep in mind. So this is a level that I'm going to be eyeballing from now on $34 over here. This is a very important support level. And if I do bring out a fib retracement, okay, from the swing high to the swing low here, we have a 1.618 target at $12.36. Now, I'm using the swing high that we printed in November and the swing low that we printed here in June of last year. So, we just lost the low, okay? But it does seem like we're trying to come back up there, and all of this can end up being a wick if we close the candle above $52.66 this month, then we haven't officially lost this low and you could still uh, you could still continue on because you could wick down as much as you want. But if you close the candle above this support level, uh, then that's that's great. But if you start losing it, we're going to be targeting $12.36, which I don't think we're going to get there. You do have two support levels above that. The 1.272, the 1.414 at $27.82 and at $19.94 respectively. So I do think we're going to dip a little lower than $30. But this is me just poking my finger into the sky and just calling out random numbers. But I, I do think if Bitcoin's gonna drop below 20, I do think Elrond's gonna come back down a little below 30, 30 dollars here. So yeah, that is pretty much it. If I missed out anything on the charts, please let me know down below in the comment section. We're essentially oversold right now. If we take a look at the weekly or the daily chart, we are very oversold on all assets, altcoins. Uh, very much so and if you want to dollar cost average in then do so not not a financial advice obviously but i would not recommend going all in right now because you can always go longer with the incoming recession you just want to dollar cost average your way into the project and once you start coming up the next cycle right you're gonna feel the gains you're gonna feel the appreciation and you are, will be proud of yourself okay so just be patient buy in buy buy the dip buy all these lows i know this is you know what the 15th dip and we always say buy the dip but that's what you do millionaires are made in bear markets and i'm planning to become a millionaire guys and if you are as well then stick with the channel we'll do so together and yeah thank you all for watching feel free to follow me on twitter make sure to check out my patreon if you join you get access to 500 posts that we have over there i do post on a daily basis we have low cap gem calls video requests ta requests 
market sentiment analysis, all that type of stuff is going to be on the Patreon and you get the same benefits if you become a member here on YouTube. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.